What's good with y'all? It's Almighty Dan, and I'm back again. So y'all be sure to like this video if you're gonna be on next gen because NBA 2K21 next gen content is coming very, very soon. As as a matter of fact, I'm finna help y'all out right now. I'm finna help y'all stack up those endorsements and show y'all how to get those endorsements as quick as possible and actually show y'all where y'all can pick them up from because. I know a lot of y'all are not even picking up y'all checks, myself included. You know, I had just been collecting them, making my negotiations, and getting my fans up. Because you can see there, as you get more fans, you get more endorsements. As you get more endorsements, you get more VC. As you get more VC, you're better preparing yourself for NBA 2K21 Next Gen to make that bill. At this point in time, I know a lot of y'all have y'all bills where y'all want them i know some of y'all still need vc for y'all bills for clothes shoes attributes all that and whatnot so you know i'm gonna continue to look out for y'all while we on the current gen and i know some of y'all still gonna be on current gen so some of this gonna be useful for y'all throughout the whole year now i've been told y'all and i'm gonna stay true to my word follow me on twitter and if a video gets 5,000 likes i will do a million vc giveaway it's that simple now listen i know a lot of y'all watch the videos over 5,000 y'all gonna see it. I just need at least 5,000 y'all to like it. It's that simple as that. Follow me on Twitter and then we gonna go from there. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show y'all is um, yesterday was the first day I ever went and picked up my check from BC Sports Management. I just now located it. I didn't even know where I was going at first. As you can see me, I'm walking around the neighborhood because I honestly didn't even know where it was at. I honestly did not even know where it was at because I would know I would check my phone and my messages and if you check your text messages, your agent will tell you, come to my office, pick up your VC check. He will mention that to you from time to time. Now, as you can see there, it's on your left hand side. Now, I just passed it because at first I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. It's very small, it's in the cut. Like, you kind of just gotta, you kind of just gotta know what's there. It's almost like a secret, man. So, it's like this whole time I have been stacking up BC, right? And let me go ahead and let y'all know how much VC I got right now. I got like 19,000 before I picked it up. 19,000 before I picked it up after that y'all gonna see how much BC that I had just sitting there stacking up keep in mind listen keep in mind this is my second my player on my other account my other account I didn't even get the VC off that my player yet so look I go there I got Harper Dell that's my agent now at this point in the game most of y'all have already cho chosen y'all agent now I told y'all to go with Harper Dell because he gets y'all the endorsements the fastest now, as you can see there my endorsements are stacking up you just keep hitting A, you no know, cutscenes, none of that. Now, I haven't tried any glitchy work with the endorsements, trying to run it up on the VC, but just go there and you pick it up. But it might could be something there. I'm not going to lie, but like I said, I haven't tried it. I've already been banned once, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to be banned going into the next gen. I at least, at the very least, need to make it to next gen to where I can play online, you know what I'm saying? At least. So I'm not trying to get banned on next gen before next gen even come out. That just be insane. So... I told you I had 19,000, now I got 34,000. That was a good amount of VC I picked up. That's definitely gonna add and stack up, especially if you're bidding next gen. Stack your VC so then when that when you get it, you can go ahead and create your my player and not have to worry about grinding VC. Y'all can take advantage right now. Now I'm finna show y'all the method to get the fans. Before I show y'all that, let me show y'all what badges you might wanna have on. If you are a finisher, Put on lobs and he finishers so you can catch alley oops. Very, very important, very easy. Easy way to get fans there. If you have playmaking badges, a uh, flashy pass is gonna help boost up your takeover meter because you wanna throw flashy passes. Um, you can put diamond up higher as well. Throw lob city passer on there because you wanna throw a lot of alley oops from a lot of different angles. That will get you a lot of uh, fans as well. Um, defense, if you can, put on chase down artists. You know what I'm saying? Put on uh, chase down artists and pick pockets because steals and blocks will get you fans as well, especially fast break steals. Um, you might want to even put on downhill so you can get down the court faster. Now, let's get into the game. I'm finna show y'all some gameplay. I've been in the lab, I've been practicing my jump shot. I shoot with this stick and I shoot with X now, so that's where I've been at, man. I've been in the lab grinding my player, getting fans. Now, if you see there, if you are a shooter, limitless range threes will get you a lot of fans. I got like almost 1600 for that one three now let me give y'all some tips and tricks when it comes to these fans you know what i'm saying 
as you do things over and over again, the more you do them, the less fans you get. And sometimes you might not even get fans for doing certain things. You know, you might hit a limitless range three, and you might get no fan. Get, might not get any more fans. But you can see there, I hit another three, 1,100 fans, almost 3,000 fans just like that off those threes alone. Step back three, cash. What happened? I didn't get any fans for that. So as you can see, if you're not getting fans for something, switch it up because there's always plenty of ways to get fans. Whether that's attacking the basket, throwing alley oops. So throwing alley oops. Now listen, 1600 right there. You could throw them different ways. Pick and roll, fast breaks. You get a different amount of fans for throwing different types of alley oops and for taking different types of shots. Now step back, limitless range threes are going to get you fans. Until you do them enough and they don't. Now, once that stops working for you, then maybe you should start taking fades. The fades will get you fans. Now, see right here, I'm fading. Three, bang, the fans pop up. How many fans did I get for that? 2,084. I'm giving y'all free game to get these fans. It's super easy. Even if you're not a shooter. Now, if you're not a shooter like me, you just want to go to the basket, slash, get contact dunks, do reverse layups, euro steps. All those types of moves. Now, I, I, my slashing ability isn't that high, so I'm taking a lot of shots. But if you're a slasher, it's just as easy, especially if you can throw yourself alley oops on fast breaks. If you can throw yourself alley oops on fast breaks, you will get a lot of fans for that. You know what I'm saying? That is definitely a fan highlight play. As you can see, another fade, three green. No fans for that. Time to move on to something else. Now, that's that's not to say that you will stop getting fans for the rest of the game for it. You still might get some fans, but you just might get a small amount. As you can see there, I'm throwing alley you still, uh, pick and rolls. I only get about 400 fans, but I get a steal. Defense, fast breaks, and ones. All those combined is going to get you fans. A steal, fast break, and one is going to get you fans for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's going to pop up on the top right side. You're going to get fans for that. Also, if you're a defender, shot contest, blocks. Defense, all that good stuff. That you see fast break right here. Make sure you take the right angles because you can usually throw good alley oops. Good thing I'm on the Lakers because the Lakers, everybody catches a lot of alley oops. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, JaBelle McGee, Dwight Howard, even Marcus Morris and Kyle Kuzma be catching a lot of oops. Now, now you can also attack the basket, catch and shoot. Catch and shoot is gonna get you fans. Eight three-pointers made is going to give me fans, 1,600 a game. Now, there are certain stats and accolades that you can achieve in a game that's going to automatically trigger fans. If you drop 50 points, you will get fans. As you can see there, nice little drive, dunk, 200. But 50 points will get you fans. Um, certain double-double accolades will get you fans. Um, over 50 points, I don't know I don't know what's the next accolade that will trigger fans, but I know for sure 50 points and certain double-double, maybe even triple-double accolades will get you fans. That's how you stack them up. Now, once you stack your fans up, right, and you get your next endorsement, pick and roll, get you fans. Listen to me. Once you stack your fans up and get you your next endorsement, it's important to know that even though you have the amount of fans necessary to get the endorsement, you might not get it after that game, but it's still gonna be there and pop up. That's why it was important to pick Harper Dell as your free agent because he gets you your endorsements quicker. And a lot of the times, what's gonna happen is you might end up stacking some endorsements and you might get a lot of endorsements at one time because you're getting all these fans. You know what I'm saying? Look at that alley right there. Fans. Everything I'm doing in this game is to get fans, to get endorsements, to get VC. This is how you stack your VC up. In on top of having a good BC contract, on top of having your game. That's how your BC is going to add up if you're playing my career. You have to do stuff to get your endorsements to make them bigger and get bigger BC endorsement checks. Now, as you get bigger BC endorsement checks, it'll become even more worthwhile. Now, if you feel like you're not getting enough fans for what you're doing, you can simply sim to the next game or finish that game and then start a new game and start getting fans, a lot of fans all over again, you know? But I, I usually just finish my game because... I get a decent amount of fans. I might get around like close to 20,000 fans a game. I play on five minute quarters, all star difficulty. So it's not tough. You know, it's very easy to me, especially now that I can shoot. If you can shoot, it's going to be a breeze getting fans because you can throw oops. I'm a playmaking shot creator. So that's my build. 17,000 fans right there. And as you can see, I got my Nike endorsement. But I will tell y'all before this game, I had played a game to get 
enough endorsements, but my, my endorsement did not pop up after the game like that, you know? So, you're going to see me get my Nike endorsement and then three more endorsements to negotiate because it all came at one time. Especially since I have, like I said, I chose the agent that gets me a lot of endorsements quicker. Now, of course, if you go with incentives, choose incentives that fit your play style. I take a lot of limitless threes, so five VC for that. Um, I don't really care about uh, percentages off because I don't really buy stuff. I don't plan on buying any watches or anything for 2K21 on current gen. You know, I'm, I'm really just out here to play the game, stack my VC, um, and that's it. I'm not trying to go too crazy, uh, but I try to get as much VC for my VC my event appearance as I can, and at least two a sentence in two a sentence if I can. But if I can't, I'll just accept whatever if I negotiate and they are having to give me a tough time. But around this range right now, I can get at least like 3,650 VC. I know that's I noticed that was the range that they were trying to give me. And I get two incentives, so I can get 20 points easily, 30 points easily. So that's an easy 35 every extra 35 VC every game. Now I know this is a very small amount of VC for your incentives, but keep in mind that all of these incentives add up. All that add up to hundreds of VC, extra hundreds of VC a game on top of your event appearances, on top of your VC salary, on top of the bonus for whatever difficulty you play on. The higher difficulty you play on, you get a multiplier for your VC. I play on All-Star right now because I don't see any need to put the difficulty any higher. Unless you want to practice your student on higher difficulty, that's the only reason. But as you can see there, I got Gatorade. Now, I will say this one thing. If you do buy Gatorade, then you might want the store discount because Gatorade can be annoying to buy. So you might want to go ahead and get that up and keep grinding your um, endorsements and then max that out if you buy a lot of Gatorade because my stamina does be low and sometimes I be wanting to buy it but it just be like I don't really need it. I go for player of the game because you gonna pretty much get that every game you play is pretty much guaranteed for me at least. And as you can see, I get another endorsement. So this is literally back to back to back to back to back. So I'm what I'm telling y'all here is gonna get y'all a lot of VC in y'all pockets. That's definitely over 10K of VC right there alone just like that that I'm getting in these events and once these events pop up which they gonna pop up very quickly because I chose the right agent um my VC in my pocket gonna be looking fatter and as they popping up I will be upgrading them as well so keep that in mind they're gonna be popping up I'm gonna be still getting fans getting bigger events getting bigger endorsements because you can't get like 10k endorsements I don't know if it gets bigger than 10k from like last year but I know last year I was getting like 10k endorsements and that was cash and I got plenty of them but anyways if you enjoyed this video y'all see I got more fans to go make sure that like button hit that sub button turn notifications on until next time man Denski out